Greetings to all of our partners across America and around the world. Our topic for today and this week is to save America, the Ten Commandments. Our topic for the next few weeks will be taken from my latest book, To Save America, the Ten Commandments. The book is available on Amazon or at jhm.org. Why a teaching series on the Ten Commandments? Because 5% of the American people can name only three of the commandments. Knowing about the Ten Commandments and knowing the Ten Commandments are two different things. Why a teaching series on the Ten Commandments? Because the Ten Commandments hold the secret to America's survival as the land of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. The Bible says all nations that forget God are turned into hell. Think about that. America is forgetting the God of the Bible. Socialism and communism are presently struggling democracy in America. What would America be like if we obeyed the Ten Commandments? Our schools would teach the Ten Commandments, not critical race theory, not transgender sex, Not boys can be girls and girls can be boys and boys can be in girls' restrooms. Not anti-Semitism in our colleges and universities. There would be less crime because the commandment says thou shall not steal. No abortions. God considers abortion murder. Don't touch that dial. Listen to this. Proverbs 7 states, seven things God hates, hands that shed innocent blood, and the innocent blood of a child is innocent. If America obeyed the Ten Commandments, there would be no corrupt politicians. Do not lie is a commandment. Do not bear false witness. America is sick and tired of corruption in our Congress. We deserve better. The Ten Commandments demand the society built on the work ethic. It says six days you shall work. You have no right to expect anything until you work for it. Get off the couch and go get a job. On the Lord's Day, every able-bodied person in the world would be in church or synagogue. If we honored the Ten Commandments, The only God recognized by our government would be the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. No other gods before me. The commandments are not ten recommendations. They are ten God-given commandments to be obeyed. God's not in heaven saying, let's make a deal. He's in heaven saying, this is the deal. The Ten Commandments rebuke every philosopher, college professor, pseudo-intellectual who says, quote, what's right or wrong is up to the individual, end quote. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Truth is not what you think it is. Truth is what God's Word says it is. The Ten Commandments are not relative. They are binding. They are absolute and eternal. What part of thou shalt not don't you get? If we keep the Ten Commandments, America would be transformed overnight. Our massive national problems, crime, murder in the streets, policemen being executed, cities burned to the ground, drug abuse, sex trafficking, terrorists being smuggled into America with unprotected borders. You could walk down the street at midnight without fear. Taxes would drop like a rock. Jails and prisons, courts would be virtually empty. Hello, America. The Ten Commandments are God's blueprint for our success and the success of our nation. The Ten Commandments would bring a life of peace and prosperity. The first commandment is, you shall have no other gods before me. Therefore, the commandment, no other gods, is the greatest commandment. Why? Because if you kept the other nine and you failed to worship the God of the Bible, you are not one of God's children. The fact is, you are really nothing in heaven until you become a child of God. America has many false gods, just as Rome or Egypt. 
That makes this first commandment the mother of all commandments. The God of the Bible is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He's the creator of heaven and earth. He's the God who calls the stars by name. He's the God who holds the seven seas in the palms of his hand, who weighs the mountains in a scale and the hills in a balance. The one true God liberated Israel from Egypt's bondage with ten plagues. Then he drowned the Egyptian army in the Red Sea. He is the God who brought water from the rock in the wilderness, sufficient for all of Israel and their livestock. The one true God led them with the cloud by day and the fire by night. He rained bread from heaven to feed a million people every day for six days a week for 40 years. And not one person was sick or feeble for 40 years. The God of the Ten Commandments was the God our founding fathers who landed at Plymouth Rock in 1620, entered into a covenant with God which said, Quote, in the name of God, we whose names are underwritten for the glory of God and the advancement of the Christian faith, covenant and bind ourselves together. They were unified. America today is divided and racing towards civil war. Seething hatred divides our nation. The God of the Ten Commandments was the God that George Washington prayed to in the snows of Valley Forge, when defeat seemed certain and victory seemed impossible. George Washington, the first president, said, and I quote, It is impossible to rightly govern the world without God and the Bible. Think about that. Today, America's fake news would mock and ridicule George Washington relentlessly and without mercy. The God of the Ten Commandments is the God Abraham Lincoln prayed to when he fought to crush slavery in America. Abraham Lincoln said as he held up his Bible, In regards to this great book, I have this to say. It is the greatest gift God has given to men. All the good Savior gave to the world was communicated through this book. End of quote. Recently, socialists rioted trying to remove his statue from the Lincoln Memorial. Why? Because as Americans, if we forget the heroes of our past, socialists can control our future. Because socialists hate God Almighty. They hate the Bible and those who believe it. On this solid rock we stand, there is no other. As for me and my house, Joshua said, we will serve the Lord. Harry Truman recognized the God of the Ten Commandments. He said, the fundamental basis of this nation's laws was given to Moses on Mount Sinai, the Ten Commandments. Listen to President Truman, quote, if we don't have a proper fundamental moral background, we will finally end up a totalitarian government which does not believe in rights for anybody except the state, end of quote. And we are there. There is much more divine truth in this first commandment, and you can get it all in my latest book, To Save America, The Ten Commandments. It's available on Amazon or at jhm.org. I'll see you next week for the second commandment.